All right, we have a Season 11 Cup game once again uh, for the round of 32. This is going to be Code Baboon versus Enagon. <clears throat> so, Crane versus Crab. Um, it looks like Crane is running Secret of Fire. So, we're going to see Feast or Famine here. Uh, the crane player is on Dragon Splash, so three let go, two Fury. Miramoto's Fury is the restricted list card. And then the crab deck is pretty normal, just the typical Unicorn Splash. Um, nothing too crazy there. We see a Caillou Envoy from Crab and a Cautious Scout. Uh, he's going to go ahead and play Shuichi here. He will be able to get an extra fate with that, and Crane does play the Brash Samurai, so Crab gets the passing fate as well. Uh, Brash Samurai with no fate, interesting. I guess he wants to reduce the chances that it gets assassinated. Uh, Crane does see Kikita Yoshi in his province row, so he will probably be trying to get the Imperial Favor this turn if possible. So he'll have that next turn. So Crab is first player. Uh, Crab does have a covert here. So he could potentially go for water and cover the Brash Samurai, uh, but there is a favorable ground, so that probably is not ideal. And he is just going to pass this conflict. If you do attack here, you risk hitting Feast or Famine or Magistrate Station, both of which would be pretty bad. Uh, and the other two are Upholding and Shameful Display, so there's not really like a good province to hit here, so just going to pass that conflict. Let Crane make the first move. Um, Crane is going to go for the Void Ring with the Cautious Scout. Ooh, he finds Meditations, though. Um, this is fine, actually, because uh, since Cautious Scout is attacking, the ability is turned off. Wow, large defense here. I wonder if the Crab player has a Mountain. There is one Admit Defeat in the Crane deck, so that could be why he's defending with both characters. And he could have a Mountain or a Fight On in his hand. He does have a Mountain, it looks like. Um, unfortunately, he is first player, so he won't be able to make an attack with that. But that's fine. Um... Ooh, we see favorable ground to move the Cautious Scout home. Shuichi gains a fate. So you could move Shuichi home here. Uh, well, no, he has Mountain on him, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I would just pass, probably. You could move the Envoy home, I guess. But then if he has Admit Defeat, that's bad. Yeah, I would just pass. Hey Isomalt, how's it going? Oh, audio is muted, alright. Ooh, he does actually use the favorable ground there. Um, okay, it looks like he didn't have the admit defeat. That was a little bit dangerous. If the crane player did have the admit defeat there he could have bowed Shuichi and then the mountain would be wasted pretty much uh, he took the risk though hi Joe Wayfinder is going to see feast or famine here so he could attack now um, now that he knows where feast of Fa feast or famine is <laughs> Oh, 
like it's still risky though, right? Because you could hit magistrate station or shameful display. Um, I guess you could just attack feast or famine, but you you used your favorable ground. That's another reason I would have wanted to not use the favorable ground. Ooh, it looks like he's going to attack with Shuichi though, uh, and go for this watering. So now that Crane has used the favorable ground, he can just covert the Brash Samurai and attack water. Probably going somewhere that is not Feast or Famine, I would guess. Although, hopefully, he'll have to hope that he doesn't hit Shameful Display. Ooh, he hits it. That's unfortunate. Uh, so this means Crane can defend with Cautious Scout, use Shameful, and then bow Shuichi with the Stronghold if he doesn't have any political buffs. Hey, Action Johnny. <laughs> yeah, Isomalt giving a, a summary of how you play Alpha Bar. So, I mean, yeah, you definitely... Ooh, he doesn't defend. Is he going to Miramoto's Fury here? Two players play cards, and then the end Scorpion wins. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, he could be playing a Miramoto's Fury. I feel like I would have wanted to defend with the Cautious Scout. Uh, yeah, we do see the Fury. Because getting the Honor and Dishonor tokens out is, like, really strong, right? And there's only one attack left, and the Kasha Scout doesn't contribute political skill anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not really sure why he doesn't defend with the Kasha Scout here. He could have even saved the Fury. Like, you just Shameful, and then if he doesn't have a political buff, you just Crane Box, and then you don't even have to Fury. Um, I'm not really sure about that decision there. Plus, ooh, okay. So it looks like he's actually leaving the Brash Samurai at home, and he's just going to attack with Cautious Scout and flip another province. Um, I don't really like this, though, because... Finds Manicured Garden, because now he's not getting to use the Brash Samurai's ability. You could have just attacked with Brash Samurai into Meditations for free. Um, yeah, I think definitely the correct line this turn. Ooh, we see an Assassinate to discard that Cautious Scout. Uh, crane Box bows the Wayfinder. Manicured Garden gains a fate. So yeah, I definitely think the correct line was defend with Cautious Scout, use Shameful, and then Box if he doesn't play a political buff. Can you turn on closed captions? No, I can't. Um... And then you have Voice of Honor turned on as well, so he can't really play the Assassinate safely. And then you just attack with the Brash Samurai at Meditations for free. Oh, hey, Tristram Wolf. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Bat Santa, that's new. It's going well. Um, but yeah, I think that was um, a misplay from Crane there. He didn't even get the favor either because uh, the Kaio Envoy was still standing. Uh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> nice try, though. Uh, we see, yeah, good first turn uh, for a Crab, definitely. Yeah, two fate for a Brash Samurai so that he could tie the favor, basically. Um, not really the best. Ooh, wow. So a lot of stuff coming out from Crab here. Two Envoys and a 3-Fate Satoshi to just a Challenger. He could have used Satoshi during the Dynasty phase there. Oh, wait, did he do that? Yeah, he did do that. I missed it. Uh, that did find him one Keeper Initiate. <laughs> yeah, um... It looks like he does not have Way of the Crab, which is a little bit unfortunate. I guess that is the downside to only having one in your deck, but yeah, it looks like he didn't draw it here. Oh, 
Um, yeah, definitely not showing any respect there for the way the crab... All he really could have done, I guess, was play the savvy politician. Um, maybe he just wanted to save fate, and since there's only one way of the crab in the deck, I guess he just didn't want to play around it since he's already behind on board. Uh, but it is very risky there. So he's attacking Manicured Garden, contesting the Fire Ring. We see a defense here. This Kyro Envoy is just going to get bowed, but it prevents the admit defeat, so that's good. Uh, there's a Court Games to honor Satoshi. The other thing Kyro Envoy does is if Code Baboon has a Court Games now, he can't dishonor Satoshi. Although he would just honor the challenger anyway. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. But still, protecting from that is nice. Um, Challenger can still pull somebody here. Somebody being Shuichi, probably. Ooh, there's a Steward of Law. So this is actually enough to tie up the conflict. There's a watch commander though. Hmm, playing the watch commander a little bit late there. I would have liked to see that come out as the first action. Uh, that way Crane would have had to lose two honor here to play those cards. Bowing the Envoy doesn't do anything here, really. Uh, Crab can just pass. So now if Crane doesn't have any more cards, then you just pull in Shuichi, I imagine. If Enagon has the Mountain, I would have played that instead of passing there while the Voice of Honor is turned off. Ooh, we see four shame to bow Satoshi. Uh, didn't want to dishonor him there. So that is going to be a break on Manicured Garden, but that's not really a big deal for a crab. Um, the challenger didn't pull anybody in, so Shuichi can still go for a watering here. That is what I expect to see. Dishonor Satoshi, interesting. I might have dishonored Shuichi. I guess this way it turns Voice of Honor on, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I believe we will see a watering here. He's just going to go for a poke with the Kaio Envoy. So this fo forces uh, Code Baboon to either play a conflict character here or just let him get this free watering. And both of those are not really that great. Like if you play, yeah, yeah, he's just going to let him have the watering. So Satoshi will unbow, and he does get the Keeper Initiate as well. And I expect he will probably go for Earth next. Seems pretty good. Crane passes the second conflict there. Mistake? What was a mistake? Oh, uh, he used Satoshi during the Dynasty phase. So, yeah, that's already been used. Uh, Wayfinder is going to find Magistrate Station. Hmm. So, I guess you... Well, you can't risk finding Feast or Famine. You could just go at Magistrate Station and go for the break. But that does mean... Oh, okay, you leave the Keeper Initiate standing. Yeah, I like this. So yeah, you go for the break at Magistrate Station here. Yeah, I mean, you, you would have been correct if he hadn't used it yet. But he has... Uh, only one Fury left.
Yeah, Initiates plus Unbound Satoshi is really good, that's true. The problem is, if his Conflict character is a Steward of Law, that actually doesn't work. Because he can't Dishonor with Shameful if he plays a Steward, so it'll still be 1 to 1. Uh, so he would need... He would need exactly his one times Menacing Iron Warrior, or a Steward of Law plus a Military buff, or just two Stewards, I guess. Uh, and no matter what, you're just like, you're spending so many cards on that. Court Games, Dishonor's Wayfinder, sure. Uh, not really the best Court Games there, that does cost him an Honor from the Watch Commander as well. I think that's maybe not really what you want to do there. Magistrate Station readies the Challenger, you might as well, I guess. But Crab will still get the favor as long as he wins this conflict, since he has that Keeper Initiate. Yeah, that Core Games was really not good. Like, I don't know if he just forgot that the Wayfinder was there, or... I don't know, but that was definitely a mistake. Uh, we see a fine katana get discarded. That's that's good, I guess. Um, so hand size is going to be 8 to 8 now. Crab gets the Imperial Favor. And only the Caillou Envoys are going to die on Crab's side, so he'll still have a pretty sizable board here. Uh, the Caillou Envoys bring him up to 10 cards as well, 10 to 8. Uh, Crane discards Yoshi, figures he's probably not going to get the favor, so just wants to look for some other cards to play. Ooh, Imperial Librarian. So if you play Imperial Librarian here, the Wayfinder actually becomes a 0-0, zero, zero, which is kind of fun. Uh, plays Kylo Delegate. I think Crane is just going to buy out all these characters. He has enough fate to do so. And I expect Anagon to pass here. Yep. So yeah, I think Crane will just buy out his characters. Uh, Imperial Storehouse is nice. We'll draw him an extra card. There's Librarian with one fate, so that gives the challenger plus one plus one and the wayfinder minus one minus one <laughs> librarian makes that court games worth uh i mean not really like it definitely makes it better but i don't think it's worth it still um Enagon is going to bid one so really pressuring the dishonor here he does have that watch commander in play hello wrong wrong speedy oh that's mosey okay How's it going? It's an interesting... Interesting username there. Uh, Witch Hunter is really good, though. Yeah, it makes it less bad, but not worth, definitely. Whoops. Someone linked a Twitter post. But for some reason it opens it like that instead of in my browser. If it's not worth it when you played it, then it's not worth it since you can't... Yeah, that's, that's true as well. Like, I mean, we were just... <laughs> Forgot the Kappa, yeah. No, no, I, I get that you were joking, but... Ooh, we see double Spyglass on Satoshi. Old gamer nickname was Speedy. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah, that's fair. Uh, now, now I know. We see a big attack here at Shameful. Wow. 
Yeah, I mean, I would I would agree that this is probably pretty over. Um, Crab is going for the airing here. That's going to bring... I mean, he doesn't have to worry too much about honor. He has this Kella Delegate. It's going to honor somebody. Uh, but what's, what's really going to cause some trouble is the Watch Commander here. Like, Crane just can't play any cards while Satoshi is in a conflict, and he's probably going to be in most of the conflicts. Uh, Crane does have Asami, though, which is always good. But I don't know if he'll get to use it. Um, Shuichi gains a Fate. Two Spyglasses, draw two cards. There's Shameful Display, so that is going to gain him an honor at the end of the turn. Um, and it actually prevents the break as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Crab is going to win at this point. Uh, there's a Bonsai on Shuichi for the break there. Yeah, the Librarian is actually doing a lot of work here since he decided to go at Shameful, like Tristram Wolf said there. Um, Kala Delegate became one military, and Shuichi went all the way down to one base political. He was actually zero military for that, huh? Yeah, I mean, I guess he just couldn't risk going to... Ooh, we see a Noble Sacrifice. That's really strong. Um, so that's going to take Crab's Iron Mine. Crane gains an honor, and he honors a Sami. We see a Reprieve. There's a Let Go on the Reprieve. Is he going to play another Noble Sack? He has two in the deck. Ooh, an Attempted Rebuild, but a Voice of Honor. So yeah, he could Noble Sack the Challenger and kill Satoshi. Nope, just passes. Uh, this is going to be tough to defend now, though. Did he use Witch Hunter? Hold on. Yeah, he used Witch Hunter. He had a Keeper Initiate. Yeah, this, this Librarian is pretty huge on this board right now, though. So I think Crane goes political, he's going political fire, that seems good. You could go void. I actually like void here. Um, but fire is fine as well. Ooh, going to meditations. Yeah, the alternative to attacking Shameful was a 50-50 to hit Feast or Famine, which you can't really risk. Yeah, that's true. You pull somebody with Challenger and then Noble Sack afterwards. That's a good point. Uh, wow, he goes into Meditations with both of these One Fate characters. I think you Meditations the Librarian here. Yeah, you can't risk hitting Feast or Famine here. Yeah, I would just Meditations the Librarian, because then if he does have the Noble Sack, it makes it that much more expensive. And the Librarian dying this turn is pretty important. <clears throat> Only played about 10 games since Gen Con. Uh, it could be worse.
Yeah, I mean, he could find another Wayfinder, I guess. He has one Wayfinder left. That would tell him what uh, where the last two provinces are. Uh, we see defense with Satoshi, two spyglasses there. Ooh, this is military, actually, so he's defending with zero strength here. Ooh, he meditations the Doji Challenger. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, that's true as well. Uh, with Witch Hunter, he can poke with a cheap character, and then if he hits the wrong province, he can just... Uh, sacrifice them. Uh, we see a Talisman of the Sun. I actually don't like this. I think you should play Talisman on Witch Hunter. Uh, it gets let go anyway, though. Like, Satoshi is dishonored, so you really don't want to risk him getting Noble Sacked. So I think you just play that. Oh, okay, he had the Assassinate uh, for the Librarian. But I still think I would have tried to play the Assassinate before I used Meditations, right? Because if he has Voice of Honor, then that's bad. Uh, the Assassinate's good, though. Yeah, you do need somebody to unbow. Yeah, I mean, it feels bad to Meditations the Challenger, but it looks like he he might just not have the other Noble Second Hand. We still don't know for sure, uh, but since he did have the Assassinate... Ooh, we see Fight On on Shuichi here. This conflict is draining Crane's honor as well. He's down to one honor, and with the Watch Commander now, he won't be able to play any more cards. Uh, he should probably pull in the Witch Hunter... Yeah, Watch Commander is a pretty good card, it turns out. Uh, I mean, he's still winning. Ooh, if pulling in the Wayfinder... Oh, wait, the Stronghold already got used. Okay, that's fine then. So he actually used the Stronghold before he played the fight on. Um, we see a pass... So Crane is going to win that conflict still. I think you dishonor the... You just go with Shuichi, I guess, right? Uh, this Witch Hunter is actually kind of useless now, because there are only political conflicts left, and the box already got used. He does have the favor, though. But he definitely cannot risk attacking here. Oh, okay, he has a Spyglass. That's good. So it is out of range of box now, unless he has the third let go, I guess. Ooh, there's the Noble Sacrifice. So he did have it, and he was just saving it. Wow. So again, I think that's why you should have played the Talisman on the Witch Hunter. Uh, of course, it didn't matter because he had the let go, but that was the correct play there. Wow, Witch Hunter is actually going to attack here now, because uh, Crane has no zero fate characters now, so he doesn't he only has to worry about Feast if he has exactly Steward of Law in hand. Uh, he finds Upholding Authority, though. Probably a bit unlucky, unless he did have the Steward of Law, in which case it was lucky. But we'll see. I mean, I guess we won't see. But uh, We see a defense with Asami. Takes one honor. There's an Ornate Fan. He's going for the Void Ring here. That seems good. There's an Ornate Fan on the Asami as well. Uh, Voidering had a Fate, nice. Ooh, Court Games to Dishonor Asami, that's pretty good. Oh, but he has one as well, okay. Man, trading Court Games just, like, it, all, it always happens. Um... Let's see, what are people saying here? Yeah, sending Challenger into Meditations kind of did telegraph the Noble Sack, that's true. And, yeah, he did kind of have to defend that either way because of the favor. Um, he is going to win that conflict, though, so Crane will take the favor now. 
he's still at three honor. Um, ooh, he finds Yoshi. Wow. That's pretty lucky. So Crab is just going to play Kasada and then pass. Crab needed one more save last turn. That was really unfortunate. Um, he only had one reprieve and one rebuild, and Crane had the answers to both of those. Yeah, so just plays Kasada here. Um, Kasada will be a little bit annoying for the Crane player, but he is first player with a ton of political skill, so I think he can probably just win the first conflict. Yeah, Yoshi always shows up right after they get favor. It's just like, that's that's what uh, Sumiko used to do, but people don't play her anymore. Top deck of cloud, yeah. I mean, he does have spyglass. Yeah, I mean, you'd definitely like to see a Watch Commander here, uh, since you lost the other one. You want to stop Crane from playing cards. Yeah, I mean, he would have to have the third let go, which, if he had it, he would have played it last turn, so it would have to be top decked here, or pull it with Yoshi. Uh, do you use your let go, your last let go on a spyglass? I mean, yeah, I guess not. But, I mean, the other thing is he's already used two spyglasses, and this spyglass is going to stick around for a while, so if you just let go that, then he has less chance of drawing into the other attachments, right? I I think I think let go on the spyglass is fine. Um Cuz I mean he still has two watch commanders in the deck. Ooh, and he does have one here. So this is actually going to prevent the Asami ability from being used. Uh we see a pass. Wait, this is political, right? Why didn't he use crane box? He should have boxed, right? Hmm, that's a little bit confusing. I guess it doesn't matter because you're going to get dishonored, though. Yeah, so that's fine.
yeah, no, it, it just doesn't actually matter, I think. Uh, we see a skirmisher here. Going to go for this water ring to unbow the witch hunter, I'm assuming. Um, and then witch hunter can also unbow somebody else. Or if he has way of the crab, he could just way of the crab. That would be decent. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Like I said, it wouldn't have actually mattered because you, you crane box and then he just shamefuls and then you're still losing. Oh, right, right, right. Casada exists. He didn't actually... Yeah, he didn't use any actions during that conflict, so it just would have gotten cancelled anyway. Ooh, cloud the mind on Yoshi. He did find it. Yeah, Kasada is just going to destroy this crane player now. Um, he's going for... Yeah, so he's going for watering. How many keepers... He still only has one keeper. Um, upholding authority hits a fight on. That's fine. Uh, Reddy's Shuichi, actually. <laughs> yeah, why not both? Find the cloud and the watch commander. See, that's what I'm saying, though. If if he let go of the spyglass, maybe he wouldn't found one or both of those. Well, I guess he would have found one at least, but... Not really sure why he readied Shuichi with the watering over the Witch Hunter. Um, it probably doesn't matter if he has if he doesn't have Way of the Crab. If I if he does have Way of the Crab, I would want to Way of the Crab the Skirmisher. Uh, that would like pretty much one hundred percent in the game. Um, but in that case, you won't have a sacrifice target for Witch Hunter really. So. Hmm. Okay, they both passed. Yeah, I think Witch Hunter should stand herself here. Yep, there it is. And then he's just going to go for the political attack at the stronghold. It is Rally to the Cause, which does nothing. Like, there's no way you rally here. Uh, actually, he has Shuichi, so he can just covert Yoshi. So, depending on whether he has... There's actually more political skill here from Crab, but he could have a political rival in his hand. Yeah, Watch Commander, though. Ooh. Yeah, so he had to play the political rival before the conflict, because if he plays it now, then Watch Commander loses him in honor, and then Air Ring takes the last one. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of the game here. Yep. Uh, good game there. Um... Wow, he passed and then he just disconnected. Mm, that's a little bit BM. He didn't even wait for Enagon to pass. <laughs> Plays another watch commander. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Uh, the crane definitely got some good luck there with uh, having both of those noble sacrifices and being able to kill that Shuichi, 
or not Shuichi, uh, Satoshi. But it just wasn't enough. Um, well played there by the crab player. So he will move on to the next round, and he will play against Mosey, so we'll have a crab mirror. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand that he's probably a little bit upset. Um, but, I mean, that happens sometimes, you know. But yeah, top 16, Crab Mirror, Mosey versus Enagon, that should be a good game. Man, Handsome Dan still needs to play that Unicorn player. I want to see when that's happening as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for this game. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.